What is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to do a mid drop fade with curls on top. And if you guys haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and push that notification bell so you guys get notified when my videos come out next. And to start it off, we're just going to be picking out the hair and this allows me to have a more clean haircut, a more even haircut throughout the end. That's why I like to pick out the hair first. Also, I like to lay down the hair on the sides before I start any fades. It just allows me, I feel like it makes my fades a little bit more cleaner, especially with nappy hair texture. So I like to lay it down by going backwards with the clipper. And for our blend, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently this time by going with a no guard closed and setting our first guideline. With the drop fade, you want to drop it down towards the back of the head. And I feel like this makes my blends a little bit more even throughout the whole head because you have more surface area towards the back of the head. That's why I like to drop it down and make my guidelines a little bit bigger because you have more room to blend. And for our next step, it's going to be with our lever open and going about half an inch on the head. And to erase the bottom line we just created, I'm going to put the lever halfway open and slowly flick out that bottom line. And with all my fades, remember to use the corners because this allows for more control and that it makes sure that you're not taking out too much hair than you need to. And for our next step, we're going to be going with the lever open with our number one guard. Since we already went with the one and a half at the beginning to set down the hair, I'm not technically setting down a guideline at this point. It's more like just debulking and fading up to the one and a half that we just created. And now to clean out that line, the bottom line that we just created, you're going to want to go with your number one closed and slowly flick out that bottom line. And always brush down the hair whenever you're cutting nappy hair texture to ensure that you can get a much more cleaner fade. And for our detail work, we're just going to be going with our half guard or 0.5 guard and flick out all the dark spots that we see. And now we're just going to be detailing our fade. And for the next set, we're just going to be doing the same steps, but with some B-roll action. Let's get it!
this is the final cut. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys liked the little switch up that we did with some B-roll action. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that and push the notification bell so you guys get notified when my videos come out. And like always, stay safe and God bless. Thanks for watching. Peace out.